latest on June 23rd around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. The tropics are still awaiting another storm, but we are still tracking Invest 94W in the Philippine Sea and an area of interest which now has a 60% chance of development in the next five days in the Eastern Pacific. The Atlantic is quiet, no systems active at this time. It's day 23 of Atlantic hurricane season and we've still had the one storm so far. In the Eastern Pacific it's day 40 and we're still awaiting the first cyclone but it does appear to be on the way. When it gets lit up as an in invest you'll see it on the screen there. 94W we're now putting at a 50% chance of development in the next 5 days. Some models have backed away, some of them still have it on and uh, no systems are active of course in the southern hemisphere. Invest 94W in the western pacific the only system that's active anywhere around the world right now and that is obviously going to be our headline tonight. 25 mile an hour winds 1006 millibars puts it 466 miles from Samar 13.5 north 132.3 degrees east uh, as it's expected to move towards the northwest uh, as we enter the new week um, and later on in the model run uh, there's still that possibility that it could reach tropical storm status we're still just about siding with it but it really is uh, half and half on whether it actually does happen or not wind shear around the world the atlantic has a pretty good pocket there in the uh, western atlantic ocean the Caribbean not so much the eastern pacific there is looking pretty favorable towards the east off the coast of mexico uh, in the western pacific uh, as you can see there wind shear really uh, going to end up doing a number on 94w had looks of things there and in the indian ocean it's pretty high in general but one or two little slots further north and south so looking at the satellite imagery today then the north atlantic it looks like this pretty quiet in general the uh, saharan dust not quite as apparent as it has been in recent days but you can still see little bits here and there but really not much to report at all out in the ocean and over the Gulf of Mexico things looking very quiet here as well uh, very little apart from some high-level cloud by the looks of things there the eastern Pacific looks like this uh, again we're looking out for that system to the east it's, it would be cut off the eastern part of that screen uh, but in the rest of the eastern Pacific Ocean really very little going on at this time an interesting little extratropical feature way up there towards the northwest in the western Pacific Invest 94W on the left hand side, another little disturbance there over some of the Micronesian islands, over Chuck actually, uh, but it hasn't been mentioned in anything so far, certainly not an Invest, uh, but there's Invest 94W not looking too great I must say in those latest frames. The Australia and South Pacific region is still bubbling up with convection over Papua New Guinea, but over Australia you can see that massive dry area that's pushing through. And in the Indian Ocean, things pretty quiet here as well. A notable feature over southern China, by the way, a big flare up there in um, what appears to be some convective activity, but the Indian Ocean itself are very quiet. Sea surface temperatures in the eastern East Pacific, where that invest could form soon. Very warm waters, 30 degrees plus prime really for any early developments the Atlantic fairly warm especially the Western Atlantic 26 degrees plus getting towards 28 or 30 in the uh, Caribbean Sea and in the North Indian Ocean still that cold pool trailing after cyclone value last week but the rest of the basin is very warm generally around 30 degrees Celsius the Philippine Sea 30 degrees plus and the warm waters continue all the way up to Okinawa and perhaps a little bit beyond so this is a look at Invest 94 right now and you can see how it's been progressing in these latest frames. Um, there is, you could say, a centre of circulation. Uh, the maximum winds in this system around 25 miles per hour. A little bit of convection to the west but really not much about it to be honest. Uh, probably not enough to call a tropical depression out of this. So on June 23rd we're up to 27 storms so far. We've been locked at that number for quite a while. The next name in the Atlantic will be Barry. The first name on the Eastern Pacific list that we're still waiting for is Alvin. Akoni is next in the Central Pacific. Seipat is next in the Western Pacific. We've been waiting a while for that one too. And Hika is the following name in the North Indian Ocean. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. Our YouTube channel, of course if you're there already it's likely, please subscribe if you haven't. Such Force 13 also on our social mediums, Facebook and Twitter, 
and you, if you'd like to follow us on there we'd be much pleased if you did as well and if you've got any comments or questions of course you can send them through through any of those you can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for tropical weather chat in our description. <laughs>